you dropped your phone, your camera, or you've just crashed your drone in the water. We'll try rice, silica, cat litter, a fan, and a vacuum cleaner. And we'll see which is the best and fastest method to dry it out. So how much water can a cell phone hold? It holds this amount after one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and one hour. So we'll use the worst case scenario of one hour and that'll cover all the bases. It doesn't matter which device you have, first you wanna remove as much water as you possibly can. And here's the best way to do that. First, find yourself a vacuum cleaner. You're gonna be sucking up a very small amount of water, so it doesn't matter what type of vacuum it is. It doesn't need to be a shop vac. And if you don't have one, I'll have it linked in the description below. So take the vacuum hose and put your hand over the end. This way the hose won't hurt your device, plus it allows you to adjust your hand so you can get maximum suction on the phone or the camera or the drone. So first power down your phone or remove the battery. And remove your SIM card. Now turn on the vacuum and go to each opening on your phone and leave it there for a good 15 seconds at each. And then go around and keep doing it for a good 3 minutes straight. This will get the majority of the water out. By doing this, we end up going from our worst case scenario amount down to this amount. So let's see what works best at removing that last little bit. First up is regular cat litter. To prevent all these little particles from getting into all the ports in the phone, we're going to use a sock. Next up, silica crystals. Rice. And a fan. And as a control, we'll do absolutely nothing and we'll just let the natural air circulate around it to see how well that dries it. And after a ton of weighing and drying and weighing and drying, the results are finally in. Coming in last was the silica crystals. It took 11 days to totally dry the phone. Next was the rice. It took 10 days. Surprisingly, doing nothing was better than the rice and the silica crystals. It took eight and a half days. The regular cat litter was better at seven days. And even better than that was the fan at two days. So I thought there's gotta be a better way. So I came up with one more method and it only took three hours. So first take the hose off the suction side and put it on the exhaust side. Now get a sock and slip your phone inside. Now put the vacuum hose in the sock and use some tape to tape it securely. Now turn on the vacuum and your phone will now receive a nice blast of air. And after it's been running for a few minutes, the air coming out of the vacuum will be nice and warm. And with this warm blast of air, the phone will dry very quickly. And in my example, it only took three hours until it was completely dry. And this is what will give your device the best chance for survival. If it's a drone, do the same thing and use the vacuum to suck out as much water as you possibly can. And the same for a camera. Then just use a t-shirt and tape the arms in the next shot. I've never had my drone go in the water, but if I did, I'd probably want to let it go for a good 10 to 12 hours or more, to be sure. Or you can use a pillowcase. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the dinger to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.